my name is Tanisha and in this video we're going to talk about how to stop being lazy. But before we get into this video, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get into it right now. The first thing you need to do when you're trying to get out of that lazy cycle is to keep God first. The Bible tells us that we can pray about everything, right? When it comes to us praying about everything, we can pray about our hair growth, we can pray about our weight loss, and about the topic at hand, laziness. Along with laziness, we know procrastination is the cousin. And so we can ask God to remove procrastination from us as well. We have to remember to keep God first in all and everything that we do. When you're praying for God to remove laziness from you, remember that faith without works is dead. So you have to meet God in the middle. You cannot just ask God to remove laziness from you and not put in the work yourself. Wake up early. Research has shown that waking up early improves your mood, your performance, it allows you time to exercise, and it just gives you a lot of time to do other things that you need to do. You don't have to rush into waking up early. You can gradually make changes in your life. Example, you're waking up at seven o'clock, then wake up at 6.45. Then just keep reducing your time by 15 minutes every day until you get to that desired time that you want to wake up. Prioritize getting up every day early. Organize your day. It is so important to organize your day. The Bible tells us that a idle mind is the devil's workshop. And so you don't want to leave any space to have free time. I learned this in church recently that there's no free time. You need to be doing something with your time throughout the day. I use this method called time blocking. You can do time blocking so many different ways. You can use an app, you can use Google Calendar or a daily planner. And if you're interested in this, I will link it in my bio. This is for the girls that like to write things down. My girls that don't really like to do the app, not really tripping off a calendar. These are really good. And so this will help you to track your day and your goals for that day if you like to write things down. I like to use this app called Structured. I put myself on these time blocks to get things done. And I feel like it has really shifted and made my days more productive. This is how I've been structuring and organizing my days. Clean, 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 clean. Cleaning helps you focus and it motivates you. Cleaning also reduces stress, anxiety. Overall, cleaning provides a healthier environment and that's essential for your productivity. So clean your homes, clean your space, clean your area, okay? Cleaning is necessary for you to get motivated and get out of that funk and to stop being lazy. Exercising is very important when we're talking about structuring your day. You at least need to be doing at least 15 or 20 minutes of some type of exercise, moving your body. I'm not going to say seven days a week. You can do three days a week as long as you're getting up and moving your body. Exercise helps your mental health and it also improves your physical appearance. Prioritize getting a workout in. It's in the morning, it's later in the day, it's whatever your schedule permits. 20 minutes a day, keep the calories at bay. I just made that up, but still. <laughs> Get out your comfort zone and change up your routine. When we start to take on repetitive tasks, we get bored. And sometimes being bored can lead to you being lazy. So if you work in an office, upgrade your space. Take down those pictures that you had since you started the job three years ago. If you work from home, get out there and go to a local shop. Get out the house, change up the routine. It'll help you get out of this cycle of laziness. Find your motivation. It could be rewarding yourself, long-term goals. It, it could be the satisfaction of completing the task. Tapping into motivation will help you with laziness. So I bought this vision board and this is going to help me to get motivated. And my motivation is hitting my goals, doing the things that I said I was going to do. You know, so my vision board is what's going to help me to stay on track with my goals and just literally give me the inspiration needed to get to that next level because I'm out of the lazy girl era and 
I want to become the best version of myself. And you cannot be the best version of yourself when you're lazy. Understand that your laziness is impacting the people that are tied into your story. Somebody needs your skills, your gifts, and your talent. Find your motivation because your motivation is going to be your breakthrough into that next dimension of your life. That's why I'm here to encourage you to get out of the lazy girl era. Practice self-discipline. Train yourself to do things that need to be done even if you don't feel like doing it. You cannot do the things mentioned in this video if you don't have self-discipline. This is the root and foundation of you getting to that next level and how you can stop being lazy. You have to discipline yourself to get to the next level. You have to discipline yourself to walk into the fullness of what God has called you to do. It's all rooted in being disciplined. Do what needs to be done so that you can maximize your time and be productive throughout your day. All right, y'all, so that's the end of this video. Please be sure to share some comments below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next video.